to the comic book community. Hold everyone accountable while the dying embers of the gate wash away. Never forget the bastards still inhabit all spaces. From the indies to the big two, nothing will change if you're always looking the other way. Enjoy comics. Protect comics. Yes, Aaron Alvarez is correct. We must purge the comics gator from all communities. Even those who leave. Especially those who leave, as they are easier targets. The comics gator is hateful, spiteful, racist, sexist, homophobic, transphobic, bippity boppity boo, and they must be rounded up and executed for the safety of women and minorities who are incapable of defending themselves. Evelyn can take care of herself, thank you very much. Shut up, bitch! We all know you're one jumping jack away from cardiac arrest. Anyway, we must find the comic theater wherever they hide. They must not be able to propagate their filth. They hide among you, producing comic books and other entertainment. You can tell when you found one by the following signs. Disgust at soy-based products. Skepticism of socialist ideals. Willingness to hear alternative points of view. They are not intimidated by displays of masculinity. They are not intimidated by anime titties. They do not have a Tumblr account. They do not have a blue check mark. They do not shriek with delight at being given a Nintendo Switch. Their spouse, if they have one, does not have a bull that they go to to satisfy their sexual needs. They own a home. They do not have bed bugs. They shower regularly. They will not resort to eating bugs or cannibalism to save the planet. They have an aversion to sexual advances from blue skinned, skull faced Italians of men. Comrades, we must not allow these monsters to continue to produce their content and live among us as equals. They must never be able to create comics! Especially not this comic! Seven Legions! Did you know that Michael Beacon is a, is a white male? And he's writing a story set in feudal Japan! That's cultural appropriation! And this prints to be unlocked through stretch goals so it cause the approval of John Malin and Ethan Van Skyver! Alright. This one. Holy shit. I have nothing to say on this one. It, it was so good, but I, I didn't want to not include it because it was so good. This disgusting story combines high sci-fi, high fantasy, and historical fiction to tell the tale of an orphan who becomes a samurai in a time of chaotic civil war that would pit his clan against their former allies. An orphan whose dreams are the memories of an angel, Azrakal, who served the Seven Legions until discovering a plot to destroy them from within. Nico discovers that his dreams are real when he is confronted by people from his dreams in his waking life. He must choose between the war that threatens his adoptive family and the war that threatens the galaxy itself. But where's the representation, you incels? Don't back this comic right now!